In this video, we'll import an SVG file from the desktop. We'll bring it in as a sketch, and then we'll model from it. It's a peace sign, and we're going to make a necklace pendant out of it. Now, from the sketch bucket, click on Offset. First, click on the sketch itself, and that will put all subsequent offset lines in the same plane then start offsetting them. You can eyeball a distance, or what I've done in this case is, I want all the lines to be two millimeters wide. So I move the line over, type two, and click in place. It is important that all the lines be on the same plane and furthermore, if you don't hit enter each time you click a line in place, you'll still stay in the tool. So instead, click on the canvas after offsetting a line. Don't click enter. Now we need to trim all the overlapping lines. So go to the trim tool and just hover over the line you want to trim, and then that line will show up red, and you can click again and then erase it. All sketch lines that are on the same plane can be trimmed if they overlap. If they're not on the same plane, you won't be able to trim them. Now extrude it by highlighting and checking extrude from the pill, bringing it up about two millimeters and then I'm going to hide the sketch because I no longer need it. Now I'll rotate this with the move tool just to make it easier to add a loop to at the top. Notice that I haven't scaled this since I brought it in, and it is too large to use as a pendant right now, but we'll do that at the end. Now here I'm bringing in a torus, and before I snap it in place, I'll type the size I want it to be. When I hit tab, that will take me to the second field. So right now I'm just typing in numbers so that the proportions look good. To line this loop up, I will switch to orthographic mode and the front view because that makes it easier to see. And then I can align it and I will intersect the two pieces a little bit. Next, I will group them together so that they will move and scale together. Here's how I find out how big it is. I click on the measurement tool, click on the first icon, click on two distances, and there I get information. And right now, the length is way too long, about 119 millimeters, and I want it to be about 50 millimeters. So I will divide 50 by 119, and then enter that number in the factor box of the scale tool. So now, if I click on it again, I can see I'm at about 50 millimeters, which will work.